at a restaurant on the outer edges of Beijing. Zhang Shang's family gathers to celebrate her birthday and praise new changes in China's one-child policy. Because now schoolteacher Ho Fang is allowed to have a second child. And if I have one more child in the future, I wish that the number could be three. <laughs> For three generations, the one-child policy shaped their family. Zhang Shang's grandmother was one of nine children, but the law forced her to have only one. It was the same for Fang. <laughs> it made Changsheng the center of their world, like in most Chinese families. But Fang and her husband remember their own childhoods. As far as I'm concerned, if she had a little brother or sister, it would be better for her, he says, because I'm an only child too. I was always lonely growing up. Millions of couples in China will now be allowed to have a second child. It's one of the most significant reforms to the one-child policy since the late 70s. But has the Communist Party acted too late? Internally, I'm very happy, excited. Unfortunately, at least for our family, I could not afford to raise one more child. Like many couples today in China, Fang says they are saddled with debt struggling to handle soaring prices and expected to support their aging parents. As we get older, they're going to take care of all of us elderly, she says. How are they going to be able to do that? The changes in the one-child policy are meant to secure the future of China by giving a choice back to families. But for many, perhaps, it's a choice they cannot afford to make. David